life and the truth. And later they ask him, eh, can, can you show, show, tell us who the father, father you are talking about uh -huh. is? Yeah. And he told them, so I have been so long a time with you and you have not known me. Uh -huh. If you have known me, you have known God. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. This statement, yeah. which you quoted, yeah. that I am the way, the light, the light and the truth, yeah. none will get to the Father except through me. me. Yeah. How important is that statement it's important uh, to you as a Christian? How, how important is that as statement? As a Christian. Yeah. Adam, how, how important is the statement? Let me tell you, has Adam caused us to lose our relationship with Sir, a simple question. How uh, important is it? It's very, very important. Okay. If it, if it, I have known the truth. Okay. Let me I have known the way. If it is so important, yeah. if it is so important, yeah. and also the statement, yeah. John 3:16, yeah. that God so loved the world, He yeah. gave His only begotten Son in order you may be saved. Yeah. Before Abraham I am, yeah. whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Yeah. All these statements yeah. are very fundamental to Christianity. Of course. My question, that is my question to you. Believers. My question to you is, yeah. if these statements were so important, yeah. how come Mark, or the author of the Gospel according to Mark, yeah. the author of the Gospel according to Matthew, yeah. and the author of the Gospel according to Luke, never chose to put them in their Gospel? They're only found in the last Gospel written they, by they, John. They, 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 they never did the, these, these, these statements, yeah. that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, yeah. that I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light, none will get to the fire except me, through me. Yeah. All of these very important statements yeah. only come yeah. in the last gospel written yeah. by John. Yeah. If these statements were so important, yeah. then Mark, Matthew, Luke, firstly, they would not have missed them, and secondly, they would have not chosen to leave them out. So this is, I would say this is a problem, but still the initial question which I asked you, was Jesus given authority by God? And you said yes. Yeah. If Jesus was given authority by God, yeah. then he can never ever be God. Because God is eternally almighty, all powerful, the only one who deserves to be worshipped. As you mentioned about Jesus on the cross, we, as Muslims we don't accept Jesus died for the sins of mankind. But, according to the Gospel according to John, chapter 20, verse 17, Jesus tells Mary uh, Magdalene, do not touch me because I have not ascended to the Father. But tell my brothers, tell my brethren that I must ascend to the Father. And he said, I must go to my Father and your Father. I must go to my God and your God. So the Jesus of the Bible had a God which he worshipped. When Jesus was asked, in Mark, or sorry, Matthew, which is the greatest and most important commandment, he said the statement which is attributed to Moses in Exodus, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our, our God is one Lord. He didn't say the Trinity, he didn't say the most important commandment is I'm going to die for your sins, he said God is one. This idea of the Trinity, it was added later, that's why for the mercy of mankind, Allah mentioned in Quran, chapter 21, yeah. Allah said about the Prophet Muhammad yeah. we have not sent you except as a mercy for all the creation. Muhammad is a mercy for all creation and from the most important things he done, he informed mankind the truth about God. And he corrected where people went astray before. This idea of saying that Jesus is God, that he's fully God and he's fully man, and he was a, that God died for your sins, but he wasn't God, he was a human sacrifice. Islam came to correct this. The last revelation is Islam in the Quran came to correct this. God is one and worship him alone. Let me help you. How can, how can you help me? In John chapter 3, you quoted the verse 16. Yeah, uh, chapter then, 20 I quoted, yeah. First you said, John 3, 16. Yes. God loved the world so much he, that he, he gave on. But my point is that yeah. I don't believe Jesus said this, because if he said this, yeah. the previous gospel authors gospel would have wrote it. Paul would have mentioned it as well. You it's see, such an important statement. When I read al Abira, When you read? al Abira. In the, 
restaurant. Yes. When the Virgin Mary has the angel, yeah. whom you call Jibra, yes. then how can it be? Yeah. What, what, what did the angel say to Mary? The verse mentions uh, Qalat. I'm trying to think of the verse. How, how can I have a son? Was, I'm trying to think of the Arabic. They said, how can I have a son well, yeah. I'm yes, and said, when no man has touched me? That is me. the way of God. Yes. When he decides, he yeah. just speaks it. Be and, and it, it is. It, it, yes. It is. Yes. And so, so, therefore, yeah, so do the Muslims believe that Jesus was born by a virgin? Yes. But the Quran mentions, well, 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 let, uh, let me finish, let me finish. The Quran uh -huh. mentions in chapter 3, uh, Surah Ali Imran, it mentions yeah. a very interesting verse. Yeah. Inna mathala Isa عند الله كمثل Adam خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون. The exact the example of Jesus with Allah, with the one true God, who alone deserves to be worshipped, is like the example of Jesus. We created him from dust, and we said be, and he was. So the same way, Jesus was created without any male intervention. He was created without a father. He was by the command of God. The same way, Adam was created without a woman or a father involved, without a mother or a father. So, so this, the fact that Jesus does not have a father, it doesn't mean that he's God, and it doesn't mean that God's his father. Rather, kun fayakun, be and it is. Uh, the medical doctor who became an apostle, when he was talking about it, together with Matthew, the genealogy of Jesus was the, the first Adam, the last Adam. The, the geon uh, geology of Jesus Christ, it doesn't help you because you have two. You have one in Luke and you have one in Matthew, and they're both different. And then how you answer, you say, this is from Mary uh, 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 and this I is was, from uh, 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 Joseph. I was trying to give a revelation to you. Uh -huh. That Jesus said, uh, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, yeah. so shall the Son of Man be also lifted up. And anyone who believes in him. Uh -huh. Who said this? Jesus said this in John, Matthew. Yes. Uh, in, but John chapter 3, verse 4. See, there's a lot of issues we can discuss. But you know, Matthew, he misquotes the Old Testament a lot. But before that, well, well, let's well, keep well, it simple. God is one and he has no partners. I'm yeah. supposed to go and pray for someone uh -huh. at North Middlesbrough, who, Middlesex, Middlesex. Who are you going to pray to? Oh, I have been appointed by, by Jesus Christ. To be a minister, that I get to uh -huh. heal sick people. No, but who are you going to pray to? That's my question. Are you going to pray to the one Jesus prayed to, or are you going to pray to Jesus? I, I pray to God in the name of Jesus. So you pray. You, so you pray to the he one that Jesus prayed to. In my name. Uh -huh. and the woman was dying. And when I went there, the following day, he was surprised. Uh -huh. and I'll be going to Ghana tomorrow. Uh -huh. I have to see you. Sorry, one. I will be coming back. Where can I locate you? Uh, we're here every Saturday. Sorry, oh. sir, can I just mention one thing? Very, I, I understand you're, you're busy. Yeah. Uh, something you asked me, but it went out of my head. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, I'm lucky to have. So I'll be with you. I'll be with you very quickly. Okay. This is the verse you asked, but it went out of my head. Yeah. Uh, Paulet. So she said, so this is when Mary was giving glad tidings yeah. that she would have a son. Yeah. She said, Oh my Lord, how can I have a son? When no man has touched me, as in physical relationships. He said, He said, like this, God, Allah creates whatever He wishes. Yeah. Whenever God wishes something, He says, be and it is. So the verse is very clear, that God creates whatever He wishes. So Jesus, Jesus is the creation of God. He's not God, He's not the Son of God. He's created by God and He worships God alone. In 
the beginning was the way. And the way was the way. And the way was good. Shall I tell you why I don't accept that? Because, firstly, that beginning of, of John, that, this message is from Greek philosophy. You won't find any equivalent in the Old Testament. You won't find any equivalent in any other book. The idea, the Logos, becoming a God or being God, this is Greek philosophy. But as I said, and even the book of John, you, no one knows who wrote it. No problem, sir. Okay. Thank you for your time. All the best.